All those smiling faces. Oh, actually, nobody is smiling. Well, I hope that somebody's glad that I'm back, because I sure am happy to be here. I miss this place. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, well, you know, I, um, I've been cleared to come back to work. I thought I'd use today to catch up on my cases, and then I'd go back to normal rotation tomorrow. Um, could someone call Shady Brook and let them know that their number one whack job has escaped? And that maybe they should come get her? Easy now. Okay. You know, you can uh, stop babying me. You I'm just fine. got worked over by your own guys. Sit down. Take the weight off. You can stop hovering now, please. Someone's grumpy. Hey. I have reason to be. I got the crap beat out of me by the cops. There's a memo to my undercover assignment about misplaced or something. Well, it could be worse. It could be nursing your wounds in a holding cell. You're not gonna turn out to be one of those glass half full kind of people, are you? Like I said, grumpy. Yeah, well, I'm just a little pissed off about how things are going so far. I mean, we have the cops and the Balkans men breathing down our necks. And we aren't any closer to finding Brenda Barrett. I think Brenda means what she's saying this time, Sonny. She she really wants you to leave her alone. All I'm saying is this thing with Brenda and I has taken a life of its own. So the best thing to do is probably just to get out yeah, of the way. You didn't see Brenda the day you left her at the altar. She was shattered. And it took her a long time to pull herself together. I mean, can you blame her for not wanting to risk that kind of pain again? Hey, I brought Miss Barrett up a few minutes ago. Okay. She's in for the night. Good. All right, we're gonna see you tomorrow, okay? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, well, can we at least move you over to the couch? Yeah, I was just, I was just gonna get some water and All right. it's just... Well, why don't you just take it easy? I, I'm, right? I'm okay, I'm okay. Just sit down, relax, I'll get the water for you, okay? I just had this photo shoot really early and I didn't get any sleep, that's all it is. I just, I get really nervous and, uh, you know, nauseous when I have to do photo shoots and I just haven't... You probably dehydrated. Just take small sips. Thanks. Uh, is there anything else I can get you? You want a cheeseburger or something like that? There's a great Italian restaurant down the street on 64th. My cousin works there. They don't normally deliver, but I'm sure I could call in and favor, and I'm sure they do something special for you. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just order some room service. I think I just need to sleep. Right. So. Okay. I will be out in the hall. You know what, Miss Barrett, I don't mean to overstep any boundaries here or anything, but you just passed out. I'm going to feel like a real idiot if I sit out there knowing you're here. Oh, no. Alone. Can I call someone? Uh, not really, no. Friends? Family? Would you mind staying in here with me while I sleep? I mean, I, I just, I, I, if you could just stay in here and, and talk. Uh, I, I can't fall asleep unless I am. Um, because I hear somebody talking. One condition. You let me call my cousin, 
Have him bring over some real food, some of which you actually eat. <laughs> okay. Deal. I can wait you out, you know. I've done it before. Don't interrogate me. Look, I am thrilled that you have decided not to be with Sonny. But I'd still like to know why this abrupt change of heart. As a rule, men make horrible patients, but you're setting new standards. Mm. Stop being a baby and let me have a look at what we're dealing with. <sighs> a few abrasions. Expect we could bruise them. Well, and all it could be worse. Well, it's easy for you to say. You were quite something jumping from the roof onto that moving garbage truck. I thought you were a gunner for sure. You just have to know how to take a fall and roll. He's modest too. Okay. It wasn't all me. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to get away if you hadn't started screaming at the top of your lungs well, out of the blue. Someone had to distract those fools before they inflicted serious damage. They make a good team. That was the point, right? They brought me along to help. I brought you along to save your life. Because you know too much and the Balkans men were ready to kill you. Yes. You saved my life. And one good turn deserves another. Wait, where are you going? You know when I get back. Sit down. Yeah, this is uh, Dr. Weber from General Hospital. I need to confirm the release of a patient. Lisa Niles. Don't everybody look worried. Everything's fine. I was only a danger to myself. Thanks. Well, it's true. Lisa was released from Shady Brook this morning. That is outrageous. Well, I told you. How is this even possible? Apparently, she's responded well to drug therapy. Her psych evaluation came back normal, and the doctors didn't see any need to keep her. Well, then their medical licenses should be revoked. I mean, not even two weeks ago, this woman tried to kill me. Normal? I mean, that, but that's not normal. If they couldn't keep you at Shady Brook, they should have sent you to prison. Okay, Robin, I understand that you were upset, but nothing I did was wrong. Upset? Remotely upset? Normal. You drugged and kidnapped me. You left me to die. No, I had a breakdown because of your husband, but that doesn't make me insane for life. She's dangerous and she shouldn't be allowed in the hospital. I would be happy to sign a release so that everybody can peruse my medical records to their heart's content. In fact, I wish they would. You know what? I am not going to sit here and wait for you to formulate your next plan against me or my daughter. My Uncle Matt will have you arrested. Uh, Robin, no, no, could we just talk for one second? Why is everyone looking at me like I'm the crazy one? Hey, I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume you're not having a great day. Uh, how did how did you guess? To those who love you, you're an open book. Uh, you think so? You have the weirdest look on your face. Like you, I don't know. Like you've you've realized the value of something lost forever. Uh, well, that, that's that's pretty poetic of you, baby. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Though I'm not that deep. I'm just. Uh, just working on this case. How's it going? Uh, pretty terrible. 
and the lack of forward momentum is getting you. Uh, it's, it's scary how well you know me. Well, I won't use my scary powers of perception against you. That's good. That's better. Well, you know what? You make everything better. How did I get so lucky? You must have done something, right? You know, I, uh, I gotta get back to work. Well, how about I order some Italian and we have a relaxing night in, watch some bad TV? That sounds amazing. I just, I think I'm probably going to be pulling a pretty late night here. Probably shouldn't wait up. You never liked the idea of me and Brenda together. It's not up to me. It never was. But you agree with Brenda that we should stay apart? You taught me to think things through, plan ahead, minimize potential loss. So that's what you think Brenda and I are, like potential loss? Well, when you and Brenda crash and burn, everybody else around you goes down. So we shouldn't be together for everybody else's sake. No, I'm just saying that Brenda does not want to be with you. She doesn't even want to be in Port Charles right now. She's scared. I'm scared. But we're not paralyzed. Okay, you just said that your life is good right now. It's stable with your kids. She's actually, that Brenda has work that fulfills her. You guys have moved on. Just let it be done. Well, you didn't want me back with Sonny. Right? And now I'm telling you that I won't be. So you should just take it as a win and move on. You are no day at the beach, Brenda. You're unpredictable. You're temperamental. Thank you. But there's a part of you that is passionate in the very best sense of the word and committed and brave. And I don't know. Maybe you touch something maternal in me that never got a chance to get expressed. But my instinct is to protect you. I'm not so good at letting people do that. I know that. And if you really want me to butt out, I will. But I'm worried about you. I, this is whiplash behavior, even for you. I, you in, in the matter of a few hours, you have gone from declaring your undying love for Sonny to turning your back on the possibility of any kind of reconciliation. And I can tell by the look on your face, you are deeply troubled. I'd like to help you, if I can. If you'll let me.